Hi Naptime friends! Welcome back to my channel. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and I wanted to say thank you to everyone for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys. Today we're going to be doing a pour over on this 11 by 14 resin art piece I made a while back. I just wasn't happy with it. So we're going to do a super swipe and I already mixed up my resin. I'm using Pro Marine and it's just a one-to-one -one resin and I already had that all mixed up. So I'm going in with my stone coat white. I put my stone coat white in this hydrogen peroxide container. I found it was easier that way just for storing. And these are the artisan mica, mica powders I'm gonna be using today. Golden sand, emerald, and bronze. These are super, super pretty together. And a trick that I discovered is if you put a little bit more mica powder in than you usually would, you get some really nice cells when you're using the stone coat white base tint. Um, because it's the oil base in the base tint that are reacting with the mica powder and that's what creates the cells So I basically put double the amount of mica powder in that I would usually use and um, It actually ended up working really nice. I love this bronze color. It's super pretty along with the emerald really really deep deep green So I have a layer of clear down and I'm just gonna smooth that out on my canvas you can see this piece was nice, but it just didn't really have much going on with it. So now I'm going to go in with my white and spread that out with my fingers as well. And don't be afraid to get in there with your gloved hand and smooth out the resin. I know it's sticky and like, oh my gosh, but it's, it's fine. And you could be like me and just change out your gloves a bunch of times whenever you do resin. I swear I change my gloves out like maybe five times every time I do it. I know you can wipe your hands off with an alcohol rag, but I just prefer to change out my gloves. So now I'm going in with the bronze. I just did a line straight down the middle of the canvas diagonally. And then I'm putting my emerald right along the edge of that. And then I'm gonna go in with the golden sand, kind of around the emerald and then down the middle of the brown. Now I'm gonna go in with my heat gun and just warm up the resin so it's easier to swipe. And before you use your heat gun, you point it away from your piece for about five seconds just to blow any of the dust boogers. Thanks to Doris for that nice tip. I always think of Doris whenever I say that. Now I'm going in with my wax paper. You can use wax paper to swipe, freezer paper. And I just started in the middle and I'm trying to drag it down evenly and slowly so I don't lose contact and you can see in the middle here I kind of did lose contact where it's a little bit lighter I had never done a super swipe quite this big before I love to do this technique on uh, coasters but I've never done it on an 11 by 14 canvas so this was new for me and then I'm just going in with my other wax paper and swiping out the other side and before I pull my paper, I make sure there's contact all across the top of the wax paper so you don't lose contact in any spots. And I'm just trying to pull at a nice, even, slow pace. You don't want to go too fast. Resin's so different than paint because it's different to viscosity. It's so sticky. And that was all the swiping I did. So I'm just going to go in with my heat gun and heat it up a little tiny bit, not too much. I'm just trying to blow out some of the brown right up here in the corner where it didn't get blended. Just trying to blend it out a little and then go over it one time to pop bubbles and that's it. I'm just gonna let it sit overnight. So this is a few hours later. I wanted to come in and check on the cells and look at all these cells that popped up. It just takes some time uh, after you swipe for the cells to pop up sometimes so don't get discouraged if you swipe and you don't see anything right away I would just leave it for a couple minutes come back and check on it and but that's basically what I did with this one and it was just like crazy cells it reminds me of kind of earth tones but I didn't use blue otherwise this would have been perfect for the fluid art challenge on Instagram but what do you guys think? I really like how the brown and the green and the gold look together. And here we are. This is about 30 hours later. It's all cured and super sparkly. It was a sunny day. I was trying to show you how pretty the mica powders are. I love how the gold and the green and the bronze, or the golden sand, the emerald and the bronze, when they all are in the cells together, super pretty. 
kind of reminds me of like a tree root or something like that. I definitely would not um, try to use as big of a swiping paper next time because you can see I lost contact in some spots. So I would try to use maybe like two or three smaller wax papers and just wax, you know, do the swipe that way. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Happy Friday. I hope everybody's having a great day. Bye.